I encourage you to watch this video to the end because we're just this video is gonna be all about us okay I'm just gonna say it. it's just gonna be about the big transformation that we've made in ourselves uh, in the past two years but because like the people we are now is not at all who we used to be we've made a massive 180 180 completely 180 yes transformation I like we used to be complete fucking losers can so I, we're gonna can, talk about that can I say something yes go it's that's on why me. when people say I can't do it I'm not like you mm -hmm. I'm like bullshit Yep. Like you become that person. Yep. And anyone can become that person. Yep. That's one of the messages we're trying to spread is like uh oh, you I might I can't do okay, this. Okay, 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 let's go down. Let's go okay. down. Let's go down. Just bring me down. Yeah, we, this video is just gonna be kind of like our know. our story, our transformation type shit. I'm gonna set the camera down. Yeah, let's Alright, so uh we're gonna do this thing. Whoop. Okay, now we're down here with our mason jars of water. Yeah, do one of sure. those real quickie. Okay. So I want to buy I want to start by saying uh, yeah this is gonna be a video about us so you get to know kind of us and what we've been through the past like two years can I interrupt real quick um, no, no I'll let you finish. okay I, I just want to say I like forget what I'm saying. all our all the opinions that we have and that anyone else has you get your opinions based on your personal experiences so all the shit that we like preach in our videos and everything we're all about it's all based on things that we've experienced and uh, so we're gonna talk a little bit about that and I want to say, we're going to talk about the change that we've had in our life and what I used it's to be massive. like. We've not talked much about like our own personal transformation. For thing. the longest time, this was embarrassing for me to talk about. Also, this is not just like, this is not just about online business and money. It really has nothing to do with that. Yeah. It's just as a whole, all these things, uh, they can stem from one place, but they transcend into like every part of your life. Yeah. And we'll talk more about yeah, the different that's aspects. That's because forever it's been really hard for me to talk about because it's been like embarrassing or mm -hmm. shows weakness and all that mm -hmm. shit. Right? And I just hope that you guys can probably, I think a lot of people are like this, can relate to the people that we used to be. Mm -hmm. And can see like, fuck, like I, uh, I can change, I can become what I want, I mm -hmm. can whatever, right? Hope this serves as a source of motivation. Yeah. So if you feel you are at any part in your life, something you're not happy about, uh, anything can change. We've done a complete 180. Mm -hmm. Like you fuck, you don't understand. Yeah. So should we start? Let's start with high school. Okay, so yeah. I'll just start by saying, basically in high school, uh, we were kind of fucking losers in high school. Yeah. Um, you've always like said it, but I've always like, nah, it wasn't that. We weren't fucking losers, but I guess I've never properly really like, hard to admit. Yeah, admit, you know. Um, and and but also I was never bullied or anything. Like that. No, that's ne something I never. No, yeah. never bullied, but just literally invisible. Yeah, I feel like they didn't bully me because they didn't fucking see me. That's yeah, why. yeah, you, you weren't even worth bullying. Yeah, because like oh, but uh, fucking invisible to everyone. Just provided n nothing anywhere. Mm -hmm. Was just basically worthless. Had a few friends that I would talk to during lunch, and yeah. um, when I was in class or anywhere else, mm -hmm. uh, I was on my own, just, just doing my own thing. Uh, the guy like, oh, pair up with people. Like, okay. Oh fuck. Yeah, uh, just did not talk much in I class. I just know how many people can relate to that shit. Yeah, did and not talk much in class. Really scary. Fucking being a kid is hard as fuck dealing with that shit. Never mind. Like, what were we saying? I was on to a certain point. So people always ask for like pictures of us back then, but I we don't have that many pictures. A few uh, like, I don't know, of you, high school, no. Uh, so I will put up one picture that I found uh, earlier today, looking through old shit. Was so, this after high school? No, this was uh, in Denmark. Oh, the okay. picture. So, so after high school. Yeah, after high school. So r right after high school. Boom, right there. 19 years old. So what that is just the look of a real life desperate virgin that's what it like, was straight up like self-conscious so, no self-esteem no just yeah walking around thinking about what everyone else is thinking of yeah. you and thinking only the worst things yeah. and like that i just don't know if people can relate to that and mm -hmm. that's doesn't matter how much fucking money you have mm -hmm. or anything when you feel that way mm -hmm. like nothing else matters yeah you know so um and let's put other pictures of me and the both of us when we looked like back then that you can't you can just tell from looking at someone like we were fucking that's, that's a fucking beta fag yeah that's a beta fag basically right. that's what it was but let's go back to the high school who we yeah just or no let's not dwell too much on that just invisible literally nothing to offer in high school mm -hmm. just had no vision no nothing like a fucking jellyfish mm -hmm. like a jellyfish and then we moved to denmark went to this school for a year um, and it was the same thing like mm -hmm. we did develop a little bit there gained like some social skills mm -hmm. Still just like nothing to offer other than just just being be having a pulse. Yeah, more or less 
uh, and had some friends. Mm -hmm. uh, moving on, oh yeah, at one point, there's another thing people don't know about us. Uh, then we both put on a lot of weight. Now it's not just because we got lazy fucks, but we yeah. wanted to get big, but we both lost over 50 pounds. Right? Is that insane? Over 50 pounds. And we don't have any photos from We literally then. fucking don't. I think, I mean, I think it's because I just didn't want there ever to be photos taken of me. So yeah. if there was, I'd just, yeah. no, I'd run away. Don't take a picture of me, please. I'm yeah. gross. Yeah. And 205 pounds yeah. is what I maxed out at. So a lot of people to like experience, so like or get motivated to actually change, you have to like bottom out. So I'll talk about my bottoming out experience. It was, uh, I forget, 2014 or something. Yeah, when I was like 205 pounds. Now, I was just bulking hard. So it's not like a, uh, it was. It was. I was going to the gym. It was on purpose. Like, it wasn't stuff in our faces. But like, it was sad. It was it, still fucking sad. It was sad. really dumb. Yeah, so then there was just a point. I was living in Denmark. And this is the one time in our lives that me and Rasmus have ever been apart. Ever in our lives. So it was this two month stretch. Crazy. You went home to New Jersey because uh, you had like knee problems, yeah. so you were rehabbing at home. I stayed in Denmark, living in our apartment. So the one time you're were, you're without me, you bought him out. Yeah, I guess. Uh, so oh, we were living here. Maybe because I, I wasn't there to not judge you, but maybe. No, I feel like we both could have just yeah. been fucking losers. Yeah, no, sure. but being be on my own did do a lot. Yeah. yeah, I had no one to hold me accountable. Yeah, I just just do whatever I wanted. Yeah, that would have been different. Yeah. yeah. So we were living in an apartment in Denmark. Our parents were paying for the rent because like uh, I just we weren't good enough to even be able to support ourselves mm -hmm. so I we was, had we had pathetic. we had like part-time jobs but just the most unreliable worker ever so mm -hmm. constantly getting fired like I shit you not you could not count on me to come in so yeah in Denver, we, we, like, we worked like three days a week tops yeah and and every time like the night before that I had work and in the morning it was just like fuck I, I hate know. this so mm -hmm. much mm -hmm. and every time I would consider like you should I even fucking go. Most yeah. of the time I would go, but then every time it just yeah. wouldn't go without telling them, just because. Yeah, it's just fuck, like I, hate I, it so I much. can't, I can't bear going to work. And when we quit slash got fired, we just like. Now we got fired. We just like didn't show up and didn't tell and just that just yeah. like ghosted them. Yeah, you know. And then we never heard back. Like oh. Yeah, <laughs> and then eventually I think they sent us messages. We didn't reply, and then eventually like yeah, okay guys. Yeah, just but uh, cut off. Like so hey, at that point mutual. we at that point we did not even know the online business world we had no idea any of this shit existed yeah. at, at, at that time i didn't even think about tomorrow i didn't think about the future at all so like what do you want to be when you grow up what job you have like uh, fucking bur i don't, don't even want to answer i don't know yeah i just wouldn't that, that question wouldn't even be asked and i wouldn't even answer it in my head remember this that situation that mindset is what most people in society have mm -hmm. so i mean we were just regular people um in that sense so i want to talk about my bottoming out uh, I was alone in Denmark in my apartment, and what happened, so we would smoke weed occasionally, mm -hmm. but here, uh, I just bought a bunch for myself, and just, like, it was 20 straight days. I just got high every day at home, smoking like three, four times a day, uh, and I would just go to the gym, work out, come home, what? smoke, eat, watch Netflix. I binge watched the entire Dexter series Dexter in, like, in like a week, mm -hmm. or less than a week. It's like a 100 hour long episode. Yeah, um, 100 hour long episodes. 100. Ah, hour long episodes. Yes, yes. Uh, so, 20 days, getting high every day, and just being so, I sh just worthless, really fucking doing nothing, just watching TV. People, so we had family. And eating a lot of food, a lot taking of food. away food from us. Yeah. yeah, so people would ask, like, oh, come to this family thing, come to this birthday, and I would just, like, no to everything. Because yeah. I would just stay at home. You'd rather just be alone. Yeah, like. and just get high and eat food and watch Netflix. That was my whole life. But then, after around, like, 20 ish days uh it kind of just i was then i had a realization like wow i'm literally like they look i'm scum. so fucking low scum and worthless i i'm literally nothing so do you know i'm literally nothing i i at that point i had quit or stopped going to all my part-time jobs uh -huh. and at one point uh we had to sell the playstation uh -huh. to get money because oh, it was wait, too embarrassing. That's like wait, get, wait, wait, get yeah. a bus ticket to the airport or something like that. Something like that. Something but like we were too that. embarrassed to tell our parents that we need money because they were already paying for our rent. Yeah. All we had to do was like pay for food. Yeah. And we couldn't do that. Um, so that we, there we were 19, put on weight, had that bothering it out. And then I was supposed to go to university in Denmark and you were going to go in like New Jersey or something. Something like something that. that. Something like that. But then I ended up coming home to New Jersey for... Uh, for but, a vacation, but, and then I decided that you were going to 
community college. I decided, to, okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, we'll get to that after. Yep. Well, I was gonna ask, so uh, getting high all the time and shit. So I didn't have that experience, but I feel like if I was there with you, I would have just done the same thing. Mm -hmm. Cause we were s sort of together already going down that path. Mm -hmm. um, but then, do you know, was there anything in particular that made you be like, okay, what the fuck am I doing? I think it was just accumulation just of 20 days in a row yeah, okay. of just being high all day. What it was is and watching Netflix. When you're sober, you kind of realize, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah. But then when you get high, you don't, you, then that yeah. feeling you're goes You're just away. in the moment and, and enjoying just, it. And then you start to feel a little bit, what the fuck am I doing? With, oh, yeah, let's get high again. Yeah. You know? And if our parents watch this video, they have no idea about any of this. They don't know if we've ever... Maybe when you ran out of weed, is that possible? Maybe, that's that might be when I stopped. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Uh, okay, so then we moved to New Jersey, and then we both, oh, and then we both like talked, to, we basically had like a twin meeting, and we're yeah. just like, racists, like, w w let's face the fact that like, we're, we're losers, um, we, we're not on a road to doing anything, like this is kind of, this sucks, I hate the way I feel about myself, and about where things are going. Yeah. So we're like, alright, let's go to community college, and let's just, Put all our energy into school. So, is there anything I can't think? Of, there's, there's not like a particular fucking thing that well, made well, us feel just, that way. It was just re realizing that we're yeah. worthless and have nothing, literally nothing going for us. Yeah. This was four years ago, three, four years ago. Nothing going for us. Um, and then the solution was to go hard in school because I didn't know online business. I knew nothing about that entire world, which is like 99 percent of guys in America. Yeah. There are so many ambitious guys who want to achieve shit. They don't know. Publish, especially not publishing. They don't yeah. even know entrepreneurship, online business, the power of the internet. Yeah, what exists? Like the only thing in their head is like, okay, which job do I choose? Yeah. Which they all fucking suck. Which Wh one sucks less than the rest? Or no, well, for these ambitious guys, it's not even that. It's just like which one is going to make the most successful? Because like the natural emotion for young guys with testosterone is I want to be successful. Like ambition is like a natural. I want to get rich and get chicks. Yeah. Is a is like a, that's just natural. And, is I, a natural every dude emotion. our age is like that and wants that. Yeah, it's a natural emotion for young guys to experience. Mm -hmm. um, so we felt that way, and we decided to put it all into school. Mm -hmm. So our goal was let's be, let's get at least B's in every class. Okay, yeah. so I, I'll go, I'll go, right, even, I'll go quickly through this process. Yeah. But so let me say, on. Rude, even if we hadn't, if, if we hadn't found online business, but still had had that, like, fire and motivation that we had, mm -hmm. um, we probably just would have gotten into what, like the highest paying job or something like that, mm -hmm. you know? Right. So we were super motivated, but we didn't know at first what the fuck yeah. to do with it. Yeah. And then if you're like anyone else that doesn't know and only listens to like what you kind of hear, mm -hmm. then it would have just been, okay, well, let's see what pays the most. Let yeah. me work and, and let yeah. me fucking hate it, but at right. least I'm kind of cool that I make money. Huh. So yeah, this motivation honestly stemmed from a place of not wanting to, which leads into the thing, not wanting to become a massive fucking loser in my whole, what I already was, yeah. but just, it'll get worse and worse and worse over time. So we actually have a previous video yeah. talking about like what made us, what motivated us to change. Yeah. And it's just talking like, about this, this is what made me change my life. This, That's that video. Mm -hmm. The strongest motivation is to like uh, not become the worst version of yourself. It, chase, nightmare. Chasing away from like your absolutely, when you imagine the worst life possible, mm -hmm. is running away from that is the strongest motivator. So as opposed to like running towards your dream life. Yeah. That, that's that's nice, but right. when you imagine how shit it can be. Mm -hmm. So that's, I don't even know how others can put up with that. Yeah. So so from personal experience, that's what we experienced. That was what sparked it, and we're going to put it into school. First goal, all B's first semester. We ended up getting all A's, like six A's, six A's, perfect mm -hmm. grades, and like okay. Uh, everyone told us we couldn't do that because ev in everyone else's eyes were dumb like first of all people thought we were actually stupid Yeah, our family friends. We were actually like called like the the dumber guys like ah, yeah. oh, you guys are just idiots Yeah, and like everyone I feel like all fucking on Entrepreneurs experience this shit. Mm -hmm. They're told they're fucking stupid. Yeah, and like I remember so many ever so many people out there watching it yeah. Experience the same thing. Yeah. Everyone thinks you you're you can't achieve anything. You can't do anything that we, you're dumb We would start talking to our, our parents mostly about like what we wanted to like yeah, yeah. mom I, I really want to do well. our mom, own that I really want to do well here We have support supportive parents and we, even, we, even they're like guys like yeah. you realize you actually have to like work really hard to yeah. be able to do those things yeah. like if I don't, you don't blame them for thinking that way because they had nothing. All they go off is what they see, which was just two yeah. fucking idiots. Yeah. Um, um, so and then I, I, I want to say, yeah, I remember a dad in particular. Mm -hmm. We uh, had a, a certain conversation one night. Yeah. Where he was basically he was like, guys, you, like, you can't do this, basically. Yeah. Basically. What he was kind of saying is like, you can't just 
think that you're gonna achieve all these things and then achieve it. Mm -hmm. It actually takes something mm -hmm. special and different. Yeah. Do you kind of know what I mean? Yeah, we I were know, just I talking know. like, mom, dad, look at him, look at Stephen James. Yeah. I wanna be like him, I wanna be like him. That came later on, that exact, I know what time you're talking right. about. Right, yeah, that's not the conversation. But then, first semester, all A's. Sex, second semester, we're, we're like, okay, we got all A's. Like, now we have some confidence in our ability to do well at school. No, that, that was like fucking life-changing. I know, it was only one semester, so like, it wasn't like, like it that's, that, that got sturdy, stronger. genuine belief wasn't 100% there, but it was a massive first step. It got right? stronger every semester. So then second semester, One the of our past was, videos where we talk about the micro wins. Yeah. Uh, this, this is our so, micro wins. So this is how everything changed for us. Our micro win uh, sequence of micro wins. Then second semester, it was get all A's except for anatomy, bio 101, because we were told... to be the hardest class in the entire school. Yeah, so they're like, all right, A's and everything, but B and anatomy, and then we achieved our goals. Because teachers... Told us that, like, yeah, no, uh, no one. Yep. The counselor no, said no, they, they said like over fifty percent of people drop out, fail it, yeah. drop out before the end. They were like, okay, semester. fine. If we can get a B, that would be impressive. So yeah. second semester, we both got all A's, all A's, Fucking even anatomy. It. So just because we're working really hard, yeah, and really it, smart, it, it wasn't just. I, I think I am. We you, worked very hard. So like the naturally, discipline, discipline thing that's in our DNA or something. Mm -hmm. But naturally, I feel like I am pretty smart, right? Mm -hmm. Um, now I think that. Yeah, now I, I think not, so. I, Definitely not. Oh, I was you thoroughly just, convinced we were stupid. Yeah, but it's like, dude, everyone, now that I think about it, fucking everyone, everyone has the smarts inside and they just have to find it, yeah. right? So that was us. We were only fucking idiots and we uh, were at that let's time. Let's not act like everyone's the same intelligence. No, no, of course not. But they can develop the intelligence yeah. is, my, is my point with that. Mm -hmm. So, and then third semester came but along. But it all came from hard work, those straight A's. And like, yeah, yeah, they, hard work. we deserve those straight A's. Yes, we did. I did nothing besides schoolwork. Study, study, study. My real quick, what I did no, notes. I just read front to back the notes like twice a day. So I had everything memorized, like the back of my fucking head. We didn't actually learn the shit. We just memorized. Memorized everything. the shit. So we were just hacking our way to get A's, basically. Yeah. So at the time, we were also working part-time jobs, delivering Chinese food. Me, uh, front desk secretary slash physical therapy assistant at a physical therapy office. Jobs sucked dick. They were fucking horrible. Um, but. Then third semester came along. This at this point we had a lot of confidence in our school abilities. We're like, all right, now we're taking anatomy two, which was the next uh, level anatomy class. We're like, all right, we're gonna get A's in everything. Third semester, everything. Mm -hmm. We got in everything, and at then that, like uh, from that, I was basically like, fuck, like everyone said I couldn't do yeah, this. At, everyone said, and I fucking did it. At this point, now from now on, every time my fucking life, if you say I can't do it. At this point, because of those three semesters, we have we had shitloads of confidence, uh -huh. and it's, it went outside of school as well. Mm -hmm. It did not go into social life. No, no confidence did not go into social life. No. At the, but it's just about my ability to achieve things like that. But something else yeah. did, and that, then, that's, that comes a part of our second transformation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. So this is really the first one. I say I've had two in my life. Right. The one yeah. we're talking about now is the first one. Yeah, yeah. Which is be, be believing in your ability to achieve things. Mm -hmm. So that then I started. Oh, I, I had it gave me very high self esteem, but not self confidence. Yeah, I thought highly of myself, uh, that, but I, could, I, I couldn't. Sh I didn't show it. I didn't look like it. Yeah, that's and true. And I still walk around. Still, yeah. first of all, thought, still thought people were judging me or whatever. Uh -huh. But I still thought highly of myself. But mm -hmm. I did not think others other people the same, and that fucked with me. Yeah. So, um, at then we like we kind of we were looking for other options. Like, okay, we're really good at school. We can do other things. We don't have to go to school and get a job. We're good enough to go do other shit. So we just did research online. I'm gonna streamline through this, so this video isn't an hour long. Found online business. I got into Kindle publishing. You got into drop shipping, and then this was during the second semester. You're right. This it wasn't was, after the third. Right. This was after the second. So it happened we're, simultaneously. After the second one, we had tons of confidence. Then the third semester backed it up that we're fucking rock stars. Mm -hmm. uh, built publishing, Shopify, drop shipping. Uh, so that worked. There were road, there were speed bumps and roadblocks and shit. But we were doing that. That worked. Fourth semester. We're like, okay, um, at this point we were doing online business for like uh, three, four, five, six months. Fourth semester, we're like, okay, um, fuck school, basically. Fuck school. Fuck school. Like, let's go all in on this online business because online business was, we enjoyed doing it and we were making money from it. And then it. school was, we hated doing it. Well, I enjoyed how it made me feel about myself. Uh, and it was costing money. You're, 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 you're missing a third one. Uh -huh. There was uh, what I hated and what was taking me a lot of money, or was taking a lot of money, was taking time away from what I loved mm -hmm. doing and was making me money. Yeah, boom. So once we realized that, we're like, okay, no, school, done. Waste of time, waste of money, and I hated it. Uh -huh. So, fourth semester. Like the, how easy is that of a choice to make? And that's how I would always like, 
uh, articulate it to my parents. Like, mom, look, look, listen, look at these three. Mm -hmm. Hate it. Duh, duh, duh. Yeah. And yeah. then still, they were like, no. Still like, oh, you should do it. Like, but why? Yeah. Why do it? Because society says you have to go to school and get a job. That was like, why. let's break it the that fuck down the and look at the reasons. Yeah. Uh. So if this video is 40, 50 minutes long, then it just is. Okay. We just need to talk. So then, fourth semester, we we told our parents about this online business. Mom, look, I'm making a thousand bucks a month. They're like, oh, that's so cute. That's good, sweetie. But we were thoroughly convinced at this point. Oh no, online business. This is what I, we knew. Like, mm -hmm. entrepreneurship. Online business. This is this is my life. I found what I want to work on for the rest of my life. Yeah, we figured it out very quickly. Yeah, and then we were telling our parents every day. We talk about talk about how much. Mom, look how cool this is. Look how cool this is. Yeah, look at these people mom, making mom, money. I made eighty dollars today. No, when I woke up, I made forty five dollars in my sleep. Uh -huh. Mom, isn't that fucking crazy? And they're just like, oh, that's I didn't work and I made forty five dollars. You know, but like that generation, you'll probably experience it. Your parents, it. They have no idea about it, so you cannot blame them. Yeah. They had no, they so knew nothing. Some silly yeah. thing that, that just, doesn't exist and is gonna last. Internet scammy stuff like, oh, that's cute. You think you can achieve things on I the internet and become because, famous? That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, no, don't blame them. But fourth semester, we told them like, school's not for us. They're like, no, you have to finish it. We're paying. We're paying for everything, so you have to do it. But like, we're like, no. But we went along with it, kind of. Yeah. We dropped out. But we did not tell our parents. We told our parents that we were still uh, enrolled and going to classes and we were finishing our degree. This was an associate's degree, so we were one semester yeah. away from uh, With graduating. 4.0 GPAs. Um, so we dropped out without telling them. And quickly how they found out, we were just at home all the time working on publishing and your, my, your uh, drop shipping store. I still do my drop shipping store. I published a few books which were making me much more money than my drop shipping store. That's besides the point. Yeah. So we were at home and then mom would come into the room. She's like, oh, sweetie, you guys haven't like been to class like all week. Like, oh, what are you doing? Like, oh, mom, no. Uh, everything, like, you're just not keeping up with times. Like, everything goes on online it's now. Online classes, it's online mom. classes. Mom, mom it's taking, all taking, online classes. I'm taking five Dad, online classes, mom. it's all online classes. Don't worry about it. Like, so we're just doing online. So it's work from home. Isn't that cool? Like, oh, okay, honey. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, have fun studying. Yeah. Like, whew, okay, we did, cool. We did uh, have one class. So in we, the fourth semester, just to get out of the house. Right, we got uh, out of the house. Which kind of was a like a, as a, a decoy for it to look like we actually were going. Yeah, it was and, a decoy. But it also was genuinely to get out for of the house. me to get out of the house. Or else I would literally sit in my room all day. Yeah. And that's not good for me. Yeah, it was yeah. a decoy yeah. to make it look like we were going to college. Mm -hmm. uh, and then eventually over time, they're like, well, like guys, like what? Yeah, I guess it, over time you can't, you well, can only run with that well, line. like, guys, I know you're so online class. Can I see your grades then? Yeah, like, where's the grades? Like, how, oh. how are you doing? Like, can you tell me about your assignments? It can only go on for so long. Yeah. And then uh, we're like, yeah, so we actually have not been going to classes. We dropped out because, and then we explained our side of things. Like, no, this is, like, I know you feel a certain way. We feel a certain way. We have to do what we know is right for us. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this is right for us to drop out and work on this because this is what I want to fucking do. So I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna listen to you. I, I I remember them saying like, no matter what happens in the future, no matter what happens, I am never going to. I will never admit or agree with you that this is the right decision to drop mm -hmm. out because all you are is a few classes away. From we we're like graduating. ten credits short of graduating, yeah. and it's like, okay, I I get you that I'm 95% done. Why not do last five percent? But it's like the that getting the degree. The only value it has is to say I have a degree. It, it serves nothing because I knew there was not, not even a point zero zero one percent chance that I would ever use it for anything. Yeah, that's what like, it I was. knew. It. And it's that, that's the oh. whole shit with like. I'm not why fucking the stupid. Oh, we have a plan B. What no. if it doesn't work? No. What is, I hate having a plan B. How stupid is that? Yeah. Planning to fail. Yeah. No, plan A. That's the only option. That's yeah. the only fucking option. If yeah. I had, if I did have that degree. It would be bad for me because right. then I could fall back on a job if I wanted to. So that was an instance where we stayed strong and like went with our what we were supposed to do and not listen to other people. Mm -hmm. And if we didn't have each other, we probably would have because then mom and dad do this and this. Like, OK, I'll do it. I'll do it. But then us together, we're just talking like, no, fucking they're, they're wrong. They're wrong. Right? Yeah, like they're, they're wrong. wrong. We yeah. have to do this. We have to fucking do what we know we need to do. Because mm -hmm. at that point, we were so confident that this was it. Mm -hmm. The online business, this was our life now. And we were right. First of all, so we were building the oh, business. I want to say something real quick. Just, just that one class that we were taking in college. When we show up, it would be, it would be standing there. It would just like, oh, I think, I couldn't think about anything other than like Kindle publishing. And I remember just thinking, then occasionally tuning into what they were teaching, and just like, and just doing like, right, oh, right, what the right, fuck? because at that this is college. You're teaching me definitions yep. about. Yep. It, it was uh, yep. what was it? 
Something business. Yeah, some world business. business. Something like that. International like, business. International business. Like, what the fuck? The test is definition. Oh my god, this is pathetic. Yeah. So what? It, so because we were, and, and we what's were. Someone saying that it was like a fifty-year-old teacher was supposed to be teacher, and he, she's not even. She's too stupid to see like she's, what she's teaching. She's she's doesn't a mean nobody anything. and doesn't know anything about yeah. business. But so what that was a failed business person teaching kids how to start a business yeah. or do business. So what that was at that point we were in we had developed strong mindset at this point like we know this is it we had so much confidence and we know that we got the whole fuck school mindset so we were anti college guys going to college classes so yeah. that we were just saying like you know when I, I walked I, in there I looked at there were thirty people in class everyone was just like. You're you're so fucking brainwashed. Yeah. You're so stupid. Yeah. You're so dumb. I can't believe how oblivious you are to what's going on. I this brought, is all bullshit. I brought my notebook. Uh, I never even wrote anything. No. I just like, everyone's taking notes. I was just like, at that point, at, at that point, I was just really a uh, we had gone a spectator, just watching. Right. Like, wow, yeah. this is so funny. They I think know. they're like yeah. working. They they think this is good for them. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. think they're achieving goals. Uh huh. It sounds super condescending. It's, I think it's very, <laughs> but it is what it's it like, is. Wow, look at them. College is right for some people. College is not for right, right for people that, like that, us. That that international business class was just garbage. And cut back in. Um, we just had to change the battery. Ran out of power. Yeah. Okay. So we were talking about in class for semester. Yeah, we were just sitting in class. Uh, everyone was just idiots to us. At that point, we had made a mindset transformation, mm -hmm. and now we officially know. Fuck school, fuck having a job, I'm never having a job, I'm doing this online business entrepreneurship thing, I'm gonna live the life that I want, I'm gonna achieve these things. At this point, and, we and had that transformation in our minds. At that point, it's fucking inevitable. And every, we, we, we had made that decision, like, it's, it's gonna happen. Yeah. We're never gonna have a job, and that's just yeah. how it is, and we choose to be yeah. that way. And everything we've talked about in this video is uh, is what made that happen for us in our minds. I mentioned earlier that like over the last two years, we've gone through two transformations. Two, two transformations. So the, yes. the first one, we're gonna cover both in this video, I don't want it to be an hour long video, so this is just the first one. Now we went from feeling like worthless, had nothing to value, no purpose, just literally worthless. That's what it is. We're just nothingness. Mm -hmm. uh, to now having confidence in ourselves, like you know, we well, know confidence we can, in ourselves is, is self confidence and self esteem are two completely okay, different. No things. confidence in in doing things and being able to achieve this this okay, things. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because everyone's everyone's always telling us you're stupid, you can't do anything. Now we, we had made the mindset change to not believe everything we heard mm -hmm. and we have confidence in ourselves to be able to do these things. Yeah. That was still had a lot of problems and things yeah. to fix which has yeah. gotten much better since. We'll be covering yeah. it in another video. So okay, let me just finish out the semester. We finished it, we failed that one class we were going to. Um, so officially, I, I got that we didn't have 4.0s, but who gives no. a fuck? So I built my publishing business up to like $3,000 a month and then Every day we would tell our parents about this online business, entrepreneurship lifestyle, digital nomad. People actually don't have to live a job and can live a life that they want. Uh, we tell them about them every day. And then the topic of moving to Thailand always came up. Chiang Mai was like a big digital nomad hub. Then we'd always still talk is. about like, there, yeah, it still is. We were always telling them, oh, there's people in Chiang Mai. Like, there's people who are also doing this stuff. Like, there are people like us. Yeah, mom, look at this. Chiang Mai, Chiang Mai, Chiang Mai. Uh, and then we were we were slowly saying like we want to go out there we want to do that to, to them it was they didn't believe it so yeah like, okay. first like, yeah, okay to them that's just a crazy thing just because and here's, the only, here's the thing you just don't do that you don't do that people don't do that you don't do that you stay at home uh, no good reason school, why school, just get you a don't job do that. They, they didn't believe us basically because like oh you guys won't do that you don't do that people normal people don't do that uh, but then over time we're talking about it and then we're just like oh okay, we're actually gonna do this and whether you guys approve or not we don't give a fuck we, ha we have the money to we be have like ten five ten thousand dollars or something I just sold my dropshipping store uh, for, for seventeen thousand right so uh, you had me, like twenty thousand dollars rich man you had like twenty thousand dollars I had like ten thousand dollars I had so over thirty thousand in the bank oh okay yeah then we're like all right we're moving to Thailand and then slowly they warmed up to it and they're like okay you guys can go there like Okay, thank you for letting us do it, but it doesn't matter if you let us do it. We're doing it regardless. Uh -huh. At that point, we're in the mindset, we do what the fuck we want to do. That, yeah. that was a big mindset change. We already had that attitude. Whatever I want to do, that's the way I'm going to fucking live my life. Uh, do what I want to do, not care what anyone else says I should do. So we're going to stop this video right before moving to Thailand, uh -huh. uh, which was September 10th, I think. 2017 so, so that's not even that long ago that's about 14 months 14 15 months ago yeah. so a little over a year ago was when we started that whole new lifestyle. I've changed more from from that time in Thailand to now yeah. than, than what we've told about in this video so this has been a massive transformation 
but we're gonna make another video talking about the second big transformation that we've experienced since we started this whole thing and the second one is even bigger yeah and it bigger. all stemmed from starting the youtube channel yeah and it's not just oh it opened up doors for us no it changed us me as a person are. yeah and yeah. in so many amazing ways outside yeah. of making videos so we'll talk about that in the other transformation video but let me see the time lapse of this video from like the beginning of the story to now about two years yeah that's a long time yeah but yeah two years so do you want to oh. say something yeah i did want to say just oh, that conversation, conversation with that conversation parents? we had with our parents it's so distinct to me because i remember it was that time where... Wait, when was it? Maybe during our third semester or fourth okay. semester? Third semester. Okay. Fourth semester. Um, I don't remember the... Oh, about when we showed them Stefan James yep, exactly, the first time? Exactly, exactly. It was, we were sitting in the, in Dad's man cave on the big flat screen. Mm -hmm. well, I was really, really excited to show both of them. Like, yeah. This, this is what I want. Yeah. Like, oh, like, I want to be just like him. N now you guys are finally going to understand what we want in life. Yeah. And then we showed them and uh, he was, he was talk we showed them a video about like how college might not be for everyone right and, and i, I thought as they were watching it they're like yeah yeah wow wow they like, have a point wow they're yeah. right they're right oh this is awesome wow my eyes are finally open i understand now yeah it was the exact opposite yeah so i remember it's so distinct we showed them that video and then we were ready to talk about it we're like <gasps> yeah, oh awesome. let's talk about how awesome that was yeah i know and then both our parents re replies our mom like, didn't say too much yeah uh, our, our dad, dad did but it was basically just like Guys, just because he can do it doesn't yeah. mean you guys can do it. Yeah. That, that's what his response was. And he also he also said like, well, he mentioned Elon Musk and Bill Gates. Well, not everyone can be Elon Musk and Bill Gates. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. So first of all, that's not the point of the video. But his point was like the the people you watch on the internet are the successful people. What you don't see is the 99 percent of people that failed, which is you guys. Yeah. You're so be basically, the so like, oh, uh, don't think you can do this stuff. Uh, most people fail, and I think for him, it stems from a part of him being a failed entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. He was successful at one point with it, but then some shit went down and then moved to America, got a job, but whatever. Uh, so I'm sure that's a little bit personal projection on us because mm -hmm. uh, I guess he f he failed at, because I think he had like entrepreneurship dreams. Mm -hmm. He failed at it and unintentionally projected it on us that we would also fail. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, was that what you want to say? Yeah, that's what I want to say. I, it was just- Especially like our own support of parents. We're like, yeah, yeah no, you They're guys- They're super supportive, but still you have to show them something. But that was at the time. Now They're everything. not just going to believe you based on nothing. You're right. Which and is essentially it's the case. Fair. In their minds, they have no idea what online business is. Yeah. They don't know shit about it. They don't know the possibilities, the opportunities. Like, oh, I want to go be a millionaire and risk like this that, that exactly. you think is is like the way to go. Yeah. And then they think that's fucking So silly. I understand. I don't blame them. Yeah, I no, seriously I don't. don't. I don't and you shouldn't either with your parents. It's just a generational thing. Mm -hmm. They don't fucking know. Everything's changed now. Now mm -hmm. it's now, now, they're, now they're fully supportive of everything. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's wrap this video up. That was our first transformation. Our second one is like a, this was like a self-esteem transformation, believing that we can achieve things uh -huh. and a mindset breakthrough. Uh -huh. The second one was- And getting us 100% into this life. Yeah, 100%. This was the, from the- uh, that's, what, that's what we were committed for life. Yeah, at this point we were committed for life. And then the second one for starting the YouTube channel, which was even bigger of a life transformation of just like being happy with who you are and things like this. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to talk about that because that's very recent in our lives. Mm -hmm. So. We'll stop this. Yeah, we left for Chiang Mai, September 10th, 2017. And then that's where we'll we're continuing. That's what we'll pick off next time. So yeah. let's just grab it like this. Okay. Magic emoji of the video. Uh, I, no, I, I want to say, I want to say uh -huh. a few things. Like, uh -huh. Let's do 360s while you talk. Go ahead. Okay. If you enjoyed this video, if you watched to the end, drop the magic emoji, mm -hmm. which is... Which is the Christmas tree emoji. Because it's December and it's almost Christmas. Okay, Christmas tree emoji. And also, like, drop a comment talking about, can you relate to this, what we said? Are you in any position that we've told about, the, either does, before or after? Have you gone through yeah. the same thing? You probably have. Yeah, the, you probably ha have gone through the same thing, because if yeah. you watch our videos, you're, obvi you're obviously in it. You're out looking for, like, to get away from the 9 to 5, mm -hmm. online business, leave your dream, travel, do whatever the fuck you want. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you're so yeah, currently I, in like, this I, transformation. I fucking love this discussion, because everyone's story is different, mm -hmm. but it's uh, still very similar. I, I hope, this, this, my I hope this helps like relate to us man yeah and just the fact that we were massive fucking 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 losers Crazy. and now i certainly don't think i'm a loser i don't think i'm pretty cool yeah but okay that's in the video all right peace out dudes thanks for and watching dudettes. thanks yes. for watching wait wait the video's not over yet i remember what i wanted to say uh -huh. so it's just it was just so with the magic emoji also tell us do you want to hear about the second transformation that we went through? Or, or like, this shit is all so fucking real to us. Like, 
uh, because everything is just so much better now. And this is just straight up a process of self-development. Mm -hmm. So even just at this point, we weren't that much into self-development. We hadn't really realized what had happened. But now, now I have the consciousness to like realize how much we've changed, even just in the last month. Well, how much we've changed, I just want to say quickly the last thing. And now I'm just a massive, massive believer in self-development. Yeah. At anyone can develop themselves from who they are to someone who can achieve insane things. So now self-development is a huge thing I'm about. But look, this is why I do not want this to be a purely how to make money online channel. No, because it's not. my goal is to like change as many people's lives as possible. And it goes and way big, beyond making money. Yeah, way beyond making money. And like the biggest change in our lives has not come from money. It's, it's not come because from self-development. I just want you to live your fucking dream life. Like we like mm -hmm. we have and are now. Listen, you know? we could have a hundred thousand dollar a month publishing businesses but if I, it, if I had if I was the same way in my head as we as were I was two years ago life would suck yeah life I, I would fucking hate life so then. if you think that money is gonna make you happy it fucking no. won't like, no it's, it's well, a self-development yeah, thing and like becoming the person that you want to be uh -huh. whether it's fucking whatever it is that's not to say this is now a self-development channel no. but I want to talk about things uh, that it, it's but that's a very that's what I'm we're a lot about now but fuck making it. money oh we're about getting we're about one blowing the fuck up and getting rich but I also want to be like famous yeah and of course well yeah uh, uh, I don't know why I say it as if yeah. I don't want to say it like I that. I feel you're always like apprehensive to admit it. I know. I'm like, I'm make me fucking famous, I know. motherfucker. No, because it's that's a like societal thing. thing. Like, oh, you want to be famous? That's so. That's so. Uh, what's the word? Uh, superficial, superficial is the word. Uh, but yeah, I want to be rich and famous, and I know we're going to be. So, but yeah. <laughs> okay. See, but I I felt weird saying it yeah. even right there. But I just went with it and I just said it. Yep. So fuck it, fuck it. Yeah, because now we have that genuine confidence in ourselves. Talking about self-development, that shit, what I said right there, we're going to be rich and famous and I know it, that shit has developed in the past few weeks. Which part exactly? Like the genuine belief or knowing like, yeah, that's going to happen. Uh, but like my, I've had massive self-development in the last two weeks. Uh -huh. Like this shit is an ever-changing or ever-developing process. Mm -hmm. um, and like now I'm super addicted to it, super mm -hmm. fucking addicted mm -hmm. to it. And so this is, yes, make money online because we're all about money and making money. Facts. But also the self-development channel as well. Because uh, do you agree with the self-development thing? You, I, I, it takes you. If, if, it you, takes don't, if you don't, I, really, I wish I had a conversation yeah. with you because then you're not just not there. No, yep. You know? no, no, that's all it is. You're just not there yet. So once you start making... Because we've experienced it, so there's exactly. nothing you can argue, at least in our... Yep, so you once, argue it. once you start making some money uh, and... You'll you realize. experience some things, then you'll realize that it's, it's not just about making money, it's about self-development. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, you make some money, and more money doesn't really but help look, that much. As even you though make we, more ha money, we have not even made that much money As you make at more all. money, you will, your life will improve, but I don't think it's because of the money, it's because of the person you're becoming that cannot make mm -hmm. the money and all that, you know? Yeah. But just money on its own. If you just won the lottery right now, it'd be sick for about a month. Mm -hmm. it's Trust me, so. you, would, you, would not, you would not be like, wow. I can now die happy. Mm -hmm. Fucking trust me on that. So what I've learned in the past few weeks is it's not about making money. It's about becoming the person that you want to be. It's about self-development. That's what is really fucking great. Yeah. You just feel good. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's end this video. Let's, yeah. Yeah. Tell us what your seriously. Tell your thoughts about the video, please, because I know. It's great. One thing I love about our following, our YouTube subscribers, is like they're super engaging in comments. Mm -hmm. So they always fucking drop comments. I want to hear your fucking so, story. Yeah. Like, I want your story. Tell us if if you can relate to this, what part of the process you're in yourself. Uh, if you've had the mindset breakthrough to know that this is what you want to do. And then also the, the recent rant that we just did right now. Do you agree with the self-development thing mm -hmm. that we're talking about? Like, yes, that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. Uh, All right, let's wrap this shit up. You'll you'll get there eventually if you aren't yet. So, yeah, now we'll wrap it up. Once end on that. This Look, is a long can, video. Can I wrap it up? Because you always drag shit on. I talk a lot. Yeah. I did not always talk a lot. I used to be really fucking quiet. Uh -huh. So that's part of a massive transformation that's going to come in the second part two. Do you want to see the part two? Christian, how many times do you have to ask if they want to see it? That's sort of what I mean. 12. Okay, 12 times. All right, can I wrap it up? Comment, like, subscribe, drop a Christmas tree emoji. See you in the next video. Turn on the bell notification. Are you squad? If you're squad, turn on bell notification. Yes, yes. We need to plug that more. Yes, but let's end the video now. Okay. See ya.